If only my two loves, print on demand and jewelry, would come together and have a baby. But they have. Stay tuned. You heard that right. Printful, one of my favorite print on demand sites, has started making custom jewelry. And I'm gonna show you how to get set up. My name is Margaret, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. If this is your first time here, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it before we get started. And I'm gonna show you how to get set up with using the Printful and Etsy integration for your very own print-on-demand jewelry. And not only that, I've got two links down below for you to get started. One will give you 40 free listings on Etsy when you set up your Etsy shop, and the other is a link to get signed up with Printful, so make sure you use those links down below. I have ordered my very first print-on-demand piece of jewelry, and as soon as it comes in, we will unbox it together. But I want to make sure that you can get set up before I even get that in, because I want you to be able to get started selling print-on-demand jewelry too. I want to know down in the comments below, what would you put on a piece of jewelry if you could put any word? In the world, what would you put? All right, let's get started looking at this print-on-demand jewelry. So if you don't have your Printful shop and your Etsy shop set up already, I'll link those right up here. I've got a playlist to get you started with all of that. And in this video, we're going to focus on the custom print-on-demand jewelry. So if you just want to take a look at what they have to offer and all the specs, then you'll come down here to products and pricing. Click on that. You will scroll, scroll down to accessories and click on jewelry. So this will show you the three options that there are. There's an engraved silver bar chain bracelet, and that's got a chain. There's one that's got a string bracelet, and then there's one with the chain necklace. Now, when you look at these, you can see that they are sterling silver, and then they've got a coating on them, so they're plated. So there are four different plating options. There's an 18 karat rose gold plated. There is a 24 karat gold plated. There is a black rhodium plated, and then there is a white rhodium plated. So, and then there are a couple of different um, sizes there that you can set up for your customers. And then down at the bottom, it talks about, you know, the different specifications for the jewelry. Um, there is a file size here yet. You can't uh, upload your own designs to this yet, but for now you can design it in the Printful platform. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so there are file guidelines here. Again, for now, there's only, there's only, the only way to make them is in the mock-up generator, so there's no way to upload it, but that might be available later um, coming up. So, um, they give you a few things here to take a look at. Um, so let's go over and see how we want to design, how we want to upload to our Etsy shop. Let me get you there. So let's click on our dashboard and then come over to stores. I have a few in my store already, so I'll show you those in just a minute. So this is my store, I'm gonna add a product, and over here I'm coming down to accessories, jewelry, and then let's make a necklace. So I'm going to select all the colors so that my customer can decide what color they want, and then I'm coming over to design. Now if you are just wanting to have one color, one design, one length, you can totally do that. Um, but I'm going to make it where my customers can select what they want. So we can click design up here or down below. Over here you can see add text. It does the same thing. So over here we're going to start typing in a word that we want. Let's just say I'm going to put my name on here. So my name is Margaret. So that looks okay. But let's say I want to try a different font. So there's a few different fonts at this time. What you have to be careful with, which I'll show you, especially when we get to the customizing it, if you want to have your customers customize the word, you'll have to be really careful about the number of characters you use. So I like this font, Graduate, but it's too big. So I'm going to, I can scale it down this way here, or I can use this over here, the text size. And over here, there's a letter spacing. If you want to space your letters out further, you can do that as well. So scoot those back in. Now, if you get a font that's too big, it'll tell you it's too big, or if it's too small, watch. Right down here, it says text size is too small. So, and it won't even let you proceed to mockups. So let's take a look at how it looks. This is the black rhodium. 
This is 18 karat rose gold, white rhodium, and 24 karat gold. And then we can come to the mock-up view to see how it would look on a person or just on the piece. It'll show you those. So here's the piece and here it is on a model. So that's what that will look like. I'm gonna show you a little tip in a second. But before we move into pushing it to your Etsy store, I wanted to show you adding a piece of clip art. So I wanna add maybe a star or a heart. They have a few options over here for clip art. Let's select a jewel because it's jewelry. I've got these two here and it says layers cannot overlap. So what I need to do is scoot it over and make that smaller. And then I'm also going to need to make my word smaller if it will let me. I found that on some of the fonts, it'll, it won't, you won't really get the option, especially if you have a larger word or a longer word, it, it won't, you won't really be able to add a word and a piece of clip art. And my name might be too long for us to be able to do that. Or I might have to change the font. So you'll have to play around with it and see as far as fonts and clip art, because that would look really cute, but Printful's telling me that it's too small, my text size, but if I make it bigger, it's gonna overlap with my clip art. So another option is I can try a different font and then I can make it a little bit bigger and see if I like it the way it looks like that. So you'll just have to play around with it and, and see what you like and all of that. So there's that. Oh, let's say you get it all funky and like, oh no, I messed it up. If you come back over here, you can align it vertically. You can align it horizontally as well, but I don't want to do that on this one. Okay. So let's say this is what I want to upload to my Etsy shop. So I'm going to do something a little bit different because I'm going to make a collage for my first image on Etsy. So I'm coming over to my mock-up views over here. And just from playing around with it, I found that I didn't like the mock-up view on the model for my Etsy shop because you really can't see the product. I mean, it's so teeny tiny. Right, but I like the idea of being, being able to see the scale of it. So what I did is I take the image and drag and drop it over onto my desktop so that I've got it to upload whenever I upload to Etsy. You can take all the model ones if you want and drop them over there just to have all the different colors. Um, you may not even need to do that, but there's that. Um, because when I come to mockups, I'm going to use the default mockups and I'm going to proceed to description at this point. So if I have added to the product titles of all of these things that I've got multiple options on, I'm putting on there a plated option in the title plated options, 18 karat rose gold, white rhodium, 24 karat gold and black rhodium so that when they see that they don't think that it's just that one particular item that they have options within that. Okay, so here we go, I scroll down and I'm gonna put the tags in it when I get to my Etsy shop. Proceed to pricing, I'm gonna leave it just as is. And then choose section, I have a jewelry section I can drop those into and submit to store. So while this is being sent, you can see it's being sent over to my store, it's gonna automatically go into drafts so that I can add anything else to it that I want, tags, any more to my title, things like that. Then let's take a look at what I did in my shop already. So this is my Etsy store, Texas Gal Designs. And here are some of the custom and print on demand necklaces, bracelets that I have created so far, just playing around with it. Yeah, I was trying to come up with a thumbnail that would showcase the item, but also show that I had other ones available. And I started with this one for the bee lover, and I don't think I like it. I thought, oh, it'd be cute, I'll put a bee. But I don't really like it because unless you click on it, you can't really see it. I wanna really be able to tell. So I'm gonna have to go back and fix the thumbnail for that. And so what I've done is created a collage. I did this in PicMonkey so that you can see the one of the items kind of big, and then you can see underneath that there's a couple of different options. So there's that. All right, so let's take a look at one of the items I've got here. It says be here now. And so I've got them and then I've got the screen grab that I did. So you can kind of see the scale of it on a person. So there's that. So let's take a peek and see if it is, if the one we were creating is in my 
drafts now. You'll come over to Shop Manager and Listings. You'll click on Drafts, and then you can see that it is here in my Drafts folder. So now what I do is I can add those photos of the, the model, and then I'm going to create a collage with the other pieces. So I can show you that real fast. So basically to grab these other images, I put it in preview mode, and then I just drag and drop to my screen. Then I have a collage kind of form set up already. I add my images over here. Printful, I mean, PicMonkey is a paid site, uh, but I use it for so many different things that I don't mind paying for it. And then I use the one for the, lar the large one that's going to show up the most, the one that has the most contrast. So it's generally the one that's the black rhodium plated because it's going to show up better. I bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to drop these down here and then we'll get back to our listing. So it's that fast because I've got it kind of set up. I'm trying to move these up a little bit so they're a little bit more centered. Save that out. And then here I can come back to continue editing. Then we want to grab that to drop in. And this is the one I'm going to use as our primary image. So then here's where I'll come in and I'll add my name, Margaret Engraves. And then it's already what I filled in. So this is already filled in for you. Um, about the listing, I did finished product made to order, jewelry. You can come through and add in your measurements if you like. I just kind of leave this as is. Sometimes I'll come and copy and paste the title. You can totally add more if you've got more you want to add in there. You have to have a pr uh, production partner that's printful. And then the tags down here, this is where you will add your search engine optimization. So like Margaret ID necklace, Margaret ID, if it was a bracelet, custom Margaret, you know, Margaret name, bracelet, necklace, and so on. And then coming down, I don't change anything else. I leave the price as is. I leave the shipping as is, and then I just publish that, and then it's ready to go. So let's take a peek. All right, and there it is in my shop, Margaret Engraved Silver Necklace. So we are ready to roll. It is just that easy. So let me know what word you would put. Let me know if this seems like it's something easy that you would do too. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what word you would put on a piece of jewelry if you could choose any word in the world. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to do another video showing you how to set up custom word jewelry so your customers can come in and put a word that they want and have it fulfilled by you and Printful for your Etsy shop. Thanks so much for hanging out guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.